What's up you guys? <clears throat> I'm trying to find a place that's kind of sheltered from the wind here because uh, it's been a beautiful day here in North Carolina. It's uh, 80 degrees, nice breeze outside, no bugs, just about as perfect as it can get. But tomorrow it's supposed to rain all day, so there's that. But um, it's been a nice, lazy Sunday. This is day six, day six of 10 of my extended fast. And it's been a really good day. I feel a lot stronger today. I did have some issues with loose stool again in the morning, um, but but it was just in the morning and so the rest of the day i think i just walked into a spider web that's nature for you uh the rest of the day i've been just fine and i woke up at 7 30 i slept great last night and woke up at 7 30 this morning feeling really refreshed and ready to go went to church and to be honest with you i was kind of lazy today i didn't really do much and i didn't feel like doing much um so I went to church, came home about 12.30, took a nap. Not that I needed a nap, I just wanted one. And I, I'm a believer that you sleep more. When you're fasting or dropping weight quick, you know, you should sleep more. Um, so I enjoyed that. And uh, read it, finished a novel that I was reading. I did miss out on a barbecue. My family went to a, uh, a church function, a barbecue. And I missed out on that because um, I didn't want to be at a barbecue. It's just pretty simple, you know. Um, that's one thing you have to consider if you ever do fast, if you ever go on a fast. You try to plan it around your social functions. One of the reasons this fast is 10 days and not some other number like 12 days or 14 days is because this weekend is Labor Day weekend and I'm going to visit my family in New Bern, North Carolina. So I'm going to visit my mother, sister, and brother. And of course we're going to be eating. And uh, I really think that it's stupid to be the person at a, at a family get together that's sitting there with a bucket, you know, with like an ice cup or something. And is, and is that weirdo who's not eating. And I'm not going to do that. I think that you have to keep things in their proper place and under, and have the long view of uh, our way of eating and our relationship to food that when it's time to feast we feast okay so I'm not skipping Thanksgiving dinner or Christmas or any of the other holidays I'm eating on those and uh, and I'm gonna eat when I'm around my family so I'll break this fast on Friday after 240 hours 24 um, 10 days exactly and um, then I'm going to go, the next day I'm going to get up and go and, and, and eat some food. I probably might need to be kind of close to a toilet. I don't know. After the uh, digestive system taking a break or whatever, I'm not sure exactly what to expect. And I can't remember what it was like when I was 16 and broke the fast. I think I ate too much and got sick. But I'll try not to do that. <clears throat> some of you have been asking me what I plan to eat when I come off of the fast. Something small, obviously. It's going to be Friday night, and it'll be something small and nutritious and keto-friendly. In other words, um, probably it's really just going to be mostly vegetables, um, mostly raw vegetables. And, you know, I've been doing a lot of thinking, like I said I would, about any changes I would, I would make. And one thing, you guys have been really great. You've left some great encouraging comments, but also some very... Um, constructive comments about what I should do you know going forward and it took me kind of a long time to get into ketosis I mean I'm on the sixth day now and this is the first day that I've really felt like okay it's really happened I I um, I had some keto sticks a couple months ago when I took a longer fast and it it did it, at 70 hours I was really only in trace amounts of of ketones in my urine so um, maybe it does take me longer. You know, maybe I've damaged my body enough through the years and I am such a sugar burner that it, it really did take five and a half or six days to get me into ketosis. And if that's the case, I want to try to stay in ketosis in the future. So the comments that you guys have left telling me, advising me, going, Steve, you buffoon. 
you should be in, you know, eating a ketogenic diet. I am going to attempt that. Probably for at least six weeks, I'm going to attempt that. But here's the, the caveat is I'm going to visit my family when I break this fast and I will not be able to eat keto. Most likely I won't be able to eat keto this weekend. So I might have to go through the whole process over again. Um, you know, because I'm not going to say to my sister-in-law or my sister or my mother, well, how many carbs are in this? You know, is there sugar in that? I'm not going to be that jerk. I'm just not. You know, nobody needs that. I hate that person. And I'm not going to be that person. So, um, yeah, I'll have to do the ketogenic thing after uh, this coming weekend. So that's going to kind of... That's a bummer in a way, but also it's just life, you know, rolling with the punches here. But I, I showed my wife some of those, some of the recipes, and that's the other thing, man. I, you asked me what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna break my fast with. I've been looking at food. I've been reading some books and and exploring the ketogenic diet and kind of scoping out like what foods you can eat. And it, it's probably not good to do that if you're having a hunger pang or something. But. Um, yeah, I'm kind of excited about it. I'm excited to try something new. I kind of feel like it's the next uh, pro step in the progression, you know. So, that's coming up soon. And then probably after about six weeks, uh, once I've experimented with that and, and, and know what that diet feels like, I'll probably try another extended fast, you know. And I'm going to continue ADF. When I go to the ketogenic diet, I'm going to go back to alternate day fasting. And... Um, and just see how that goes, you know. I'm kind of experimenting here to see what works. You know, I was thinking earlier, <clears throat> the ketogenic diet is a high-fat, low-carb diet. And I was just thinking about how it seems like any time that you explore something like that online or, or uh, do some research in books or, or whatever, there's always so much conflicting information, isn't there? It's like you really have to wade through a lot of stuff to try to figure out what's what, confirm the... Um, you know the veracity of of the science and find out what's going on and then there's always people that just say well no you know if you shouldn't eat high fat because fat is a problem so you should eat low carb but you should also add pro you should eat more protein or they say high fat is a problem and you should eat you know like a lot of vegans i've i watched what the health recently on netflix and they, and they were saying that meat is like cigarettes and if you give your kids meat uh, it's like giving them cigarettes and um, and I don't I don't pass judgment on anybody on any eating plan. I think I've always said you should do whatever works for you. But I do find that a bit extreme. Whenever we say no, you should only eat high carb. You know, it's like people find something that works for them, and then they just think their mind because their experience was that worked. They think it should work for everybody, and they don't take into account all the different body types, all the psychology of eating, the emotional eating the connections it's just very it's an oversimplified way of looking at things i think so and it just it doesn't take history into account and other cultures into account you know the global perspective of well how come people eat meat and carbs or just meat or just carbs in you know you know tribal like situations and they're not fat you know all these people, all these other cultures in the world weren't fat until they got the Amer they got a whiff of the American diet that started in the 1950s with TV dinners, you know, processed food. So, but for all of history, people ate meat. For all of history, people ate uh, starchy foods. So I get it. I get both arguments, and it doesn't make sense to me to say, well, no, you can't have, um, you can't have this, you can't have that. The only thing that makes sense to me, really, is and that I think everyone can agree on, is sugar and processed food. That is what's killing us. That is what is, is, uh, is causing so many of our problems. But it is hard when you're scoping out new ways of eating and whatever. You get so much conflicting information that it does make it difficult, I find. And I just try to wade through it and distill it for you. Just distill it right down to what to its... Uh, it's kernel and put it here on YouTube. And a lot of it, I think, is trial and error. That's how I got into this whole fasting business. I didn't know much about fasting, intermittent fasting. Six months ago, I didn't know anything about it at all. Um, except, I, you know, I knew some people who fasted during Ramadan. And I had experienced fasting myself. But I, I really hadn't conferred with other people about it or seen what the modern research was. 
And it's a willingness, it's a willingness to be open-minded and try new things, I think, that gets us to, tr to, uh, to what's effective. And, you know, even, even age is another consideration. You know, the things that worked for me when I was 16 or that worked for me when I was um, in my 20s don't work now necessarily. They're not the same. I can't take the same approach. And so there's a lot of things to consider, and I try to keep an open mind. I don't judge anyone. If you, if you were to say you only wanted to eat meat, I would say, well, just try to eat natural meat. If you, you're going to say you only want to eat, um, you know, plant-based carbs, I'm going to say, you know, more power to you. I don't, I don't have any judgment for, for anyone. So it's it always like, I just keep an open mind. And, and in that spirit, I'm going to try ketogenic eating. I've been scoping it out, and I've got a few more days, really, the rest of this week to to uh, continue my research and try to understand more about it and not just jump into it willy-nilly like I did with alternate day fasting. <laughs> so that's the update for today. I feel good. Mood is good and stable. Energy is good and stable. And it's really been a very nice day. So I hope you've had a good Sunday and I will see you tomorrow. Eat, drink, and be merry for tomorrow we fast.